if you were the head of that Italian FA, what sort of punishment do you think now needs to be handed out? I, I think you have to go with a points deduction and a partial closure of, of, of the stadium. The, fan, the, the section of, of the crowd where the, the racist chanting was, was coming from. And I'd say strong action is needed because of the incidents, not just Moise Ken, dating all the way back to, to, to Samuel Eto'o, Montari. Um, something has to be done. At, at this point, just a, a, a fine, a slap on the wrist is not going to do. It has to, and as Cagliari brought, brought the, um, Cag the, the fan base in, in general as, as part of their own defense, they have to be, they have to, to feel the wrath of the inaction or, or their own inaction and, and the, the wrongs of, of the, the minority, as it were. A three-point deduction for the, as a first offense with a partial closure of the stadium. It happens again, six points, mm. entire closure. And continue to double down in, in, in that regard. So you close the section of the stand directly behind the goal? Yes. Where well, of course, Cal Absolutely. Calgary can take the bull by the horns here and take some initiative by identifying... We talked about this in, in yesterday's show, I think it was. By the cameras at the games and mm. the cameras at the stadium and, and with modern technology, they should be able to, as a club, identify the individuals... Right and ban the individuals for life and then let the Italian FA deal with anything else, but at least take something to the Italian FA and say, look, here's what we've done. As you said, last year yeah. they did nothing. Here's what we've done. We've identified the culprits and they will no longer be returning to this stadium. They are banned mm. for life. And if anybody else wants to go down this route and, and start racially abusing again, we're going to do something similar on top of what Shaq so, said. Similar to that point, though, the buck doesn't have to stop with the Italian FA here. UEFA can get involved, mm. uh, Italy being a, a UEFA member, FIFA can get involved. If there is inaction in any department, if there isn't serious action mm. by the Italian, by Cagliari to start with, by the Italian FA, UEFA can get involved, FIFA can get involved, because ultimately it's the, the, those governing bodies that oversee it all and they are adding to, to, to the inaction and the reason why racism continues to be uh, a topic in 2019. Are there any lessons to be learned from the way it was dealt with in England? I know it's it's different time, and maybe mm -hmm. towards the end of the time you guys were playing, it was still a problem, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, listen, it's, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And, and yes, England still has some issues, but I think England continues to move the game forward in that regard. What you have seen, and I've been a part of in, in England, is the educational campaigns that are centred around around football, be it social racism, the red card, which I'm involved with, or kick it out, which is an, another aspect I think you can go in terms of uh, enabling action. Mm. If you, oh, I've also made a, a, the point in the past that you can hand down fines, mm. hand down huge fines, part of part of which were, uh, are suspended, on on the understanding that you go after the offenders, and there are educational campaigns around racism. You, you show those, you, you satisfy those criteria as a football club, then you don't have to pay the vast, this, this big sum of, of your fine. There are ways to, to, to do these things. And ultimately, at the same time, whether we're talking about England, uh, soccer here in the US, or Cagliari yet again, uh, a kind of acceptance or complacency around the issue, we'll see it faster yet again. You have to stay on top of these things, regardless of whether we believe we're moving in the right direction or not. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.